boy, do I have some exciting news for you. Long story, very long story, very short. I'm a champion at Weight Watchers. I'm a champion at all things, feeling good, and doing a diet slash lifestyle change really well and efficiently. I feel like, like I crushed it around my wedding. It was like my best content. People were like freaking out about how much they loved it because I make it really applicable to real life. I show you how to cook for your family with it. And most importantly, like I show you how to literally get in shape and look bomb in like six weeks. So I've decided to get back on the Weight Watchers train and the wellness train and the just like love and life train. I've already kind of been on that train, but usually I'm the conductor. I've just been kind of chilling on the caboose for a while. I've been offered huge, 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 like you wouldn't believe, incredible deals with fitness companies, with diet companies, all kinds of companies that I have turned down because I'm going to be going through the Weight Watchers journey with you guys, not sponsored, not anything. I'm paying my own money to do this entire thing because I want this to be just very real and authentic and I want to show you guys that uh, I'm doing it right alongside with you. It's amazing and unbelievable how when you feel great about yourself and uh, when you simplify something, how it can truly transform and change your life. And with the holidays coming up, it's about to get cray. Another level cray, especially if you have children. Now I'm in your boat and it gets like quadruple cray because you ain't just thinking about decorating the tree. Now you gotta like, now you gotta do a thousand more things to make Christmas magical for your children. I want to go into the holidays feeling and looking my best because I know when I feel and look my best, I enjoy things 10 times more. I don't want to be sitting in the corner like Bruce Bug Trotter off Matilda like eating chocolate cake like I usually am during the holidays. I just want to be standing there in a sequin dress just with a holiday glow about me. I'm going to go and do a haul. I'm going to go to Trader Joe's, I think, first um, because there's a lot of great, easy options and I'm all about easy and simple. And then I might run to Whole Foods and or Kroger. I might just do Trader Joe's. I'm going to see how much I can get. And then I'm going to start cooking all of these recipes. I'm going to add a tab on my Instagram. I'm going to start a series. I'm going to, I'm just going to really blow this out of the water. And I want you to get excited and I want you to join me on my Weight Watchers journey because you too will lose like 10,000 pounds. Yes, it's not about weight loss, weight loss and it's all about like lifestyle change and feeling good about yourself. We all know that. But it also is about like looking good and losing weight for me because I'm post baby. And I ain't trying to be non-honest about that. I'm trying to be honest about that. UPS man is here and uh, he's my boyfriend because he brings me a lot of great packages. So I gotta get off here and go talk to him. I am in the parking lot of the Trader Joe's. Usually it is a real stressful experience trying to find a parking spot, but there was one open right here. It's a total sign. I usually have to say, Hail Mary full of grace, help me find a parking space. I didn't, I didn't even have to call on her this time. So um, just to update you a little bit because my shopping cart's gonna look a little bit different than it did the first time that I did Weight Watchers because of the new freestyle program. Now, at first, when I heard that Weight Watchers had changed their program, I was a little bit resentful of the Weight Watchers because I crushed it whenever I did it the regular way. And they said, you know, we're adding all of these um, different zero point foods and it's going to be great. I was like, what the heck? Then I'm just going to sit there eating chicken, breast, and eggs all day long and I'm never going to lose any weight. Um, but... People say they really like this freestyle. Um, so, just to update you, so eggs are now zero points. Chicken breast is now zero points. Um, turkey, uh, or like skinless turkey breast is now zero points. Tofu is zero points. Beans, lentils, peas, shellfish and fish are zero points. I used to cook salmon and like whitefish all the time and I was like, oh, it's six points and it's healthy. So what I really like about, uh, about this is that there are certain foods that I feel like I can like bulk up and make recipes um, feel like I'm eating more food without adding more points. I'm actually gonna make Ford some baby food with this butternut squash. He likes the ball too, so I'm gonna grab a couple of these. Also insane. So what's a 
obviously really awesome is you just scan any item and you can see how many points it is right there with the app. I've been scanning these salads. This Mediterranean style one's only three points for a cup, so I'm grabbing one of those. Apparently this rice medley is a must. This was not the frozen one, so I'm gonna try this out because I'm gonna cook it pretty soon. Um, but I did just find this is only cubed butternut squash and I scanned it and it's zero points. Yeah. All right, so then there are things that would surprise you like pomegranate seeds with four points. I'm not doing that. Um, apparently this is awesome and you can do stuff in it. Um, the smoked turkey breast, this chicken breast because it's awesome with zero points. And um, I'm gonna show you the rest of it at home and talk about how many points each option is because you would think they released Tickle Me Elmo in the uh, Trader Joe's right now, the amount of people that are here. So I'm gonna put this camera up, finish shopping, and then unbag it for you at home. Get hyped. I'm hyped. I'm charged in the Trader Joe's right now. I'm so excited to do Weight Watchers this time. I don't know why. This is my final cart. I'm actually walking into Publix now to get some turkey breast and um, some skinny cow um, little sweets because those are really low on points. So a great idea is gonna be these, um, just make sure it's just olive oil, salt, and pepper. Well, this stinks because I usually get skinny cow chocolates because they're way less points than these, but I can't go without my chocolates, so. So these are must, must, must haves and Cal will literally eat this whole box so I'm gonna have to hide them from him. Um, so they're four points of bar. They're tiny though. They're about this big. And in this, you can do a whole bag of Pirate's Booty and it's only four points. So I love these for snacks. I don't know where you can find one of these good husbands. I don't know what store you gotta find one of those at. I found mine at a coffee shop. <laughs> So I am home from three grocery stores. The first one was Trader Joe's, which I love Trader Joe's and it has a lot of great options. But you can't ever find everything at Trader Joe's. So I didn't get like meats and stuff like that. Then I went to Publix and then I forgot an item so I had to go to Target. Okay, so we've got arugula, which is awesome. We eat this with eggs in the morning and we do a lot of stuff with arugula. I'm actually making that two ingredient dough and making pizzas for tonight and I'm gonna put arugula and prosciutto on them. Um, zero points, obviously, all vegetables are except for potatoes, sweet potatoes, olives, and avocado if you count that as a vegetable. Edamame, which is awesome and is zero points. I got these already peeled hard boiled eggs that Kyle's gonna kill me for because he thinks they really stink but eggs are zero points now, and that is excellent. I got this Trader Joe's pizza sauce. I didn't know if Kyle would want some pizza sauce on his. I think it's about a fourth of a cup is about three points on this, um, which isn't bad. I really, really love these little sausages if we get like ravenous and need something to eat, and one link is three points, which is um, pretty great. That actually works for a lot of diets. I got these little pot stickers. Um, I'm gonna try these. I think it's great to have things that are easy and on hand um, in the freezer. And seven of these is six points. So I thought maybe I'd make some sort of like age, Asian um, little mixture, maybe with some vegetable broth or chicken broth, which I also got, which is super low in points as well. These turkey meatballs are great. I typically make my own things like this, but it's great to have on hand. And because you can freeze them, um, I just think they're super great. So turkey being a new zero point item, these turkey meatballs are two meatballs for three smart points. Obviously there's other stuff in those. Um, unsweetened applesauce, this one, you have to get this one, the unsweetened one. And it is one cup uh, is zero points, which is awesome. Frozen artichoke hearts that I'll cook with just olive oil, salt, and pepper. I got this rice cauliflower stir fry also because it's super, super low in points. So one cup equals one smart point, which is crazy. So I can add in like some shredded chicken into this or some eggs, um, something to really make that taste like, kind of like a fried rice. This is really great too. Like I said, a lot of these things I make from scratch myself, but it's nice to have these things on hand. So one cup of this mushroom risotto is five points, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna try this one too. This is about the same, it's about five points, but this one isn't frozen. I was gonna try and kinda see which one I like the best. It's a riced vegetable medley. Cauliflower, broccoli, carrots, green onions, and yellow onions. I also got some of this boneless, skinless chicken breast. I really like the individually packaged ones, um, just in case like only one person wants it. 
I got these um, shrimps. These are pretty big in size, which I really like. Um, and they're frozen, so I'll keep those in there. And these are going to be zero points, which is incredible. I got these to throw into salads um, for when I don't want to make my own. These are also zero points. I've showed you guys this before, but this marinara sauce that I get is great. And I add it into that spaghetti squash bake that I make that is fantastic. I got butternut squash. I'm going to actually make this for Ford, but it's zero points if you want to cook it for yourself with olive oil, salt, and pepper as a side, especially in the fall and winter. That would be great. So something that is just awesome about Weight Watchers is there is this app. So you can see today I've got 15 points left. I'm about to make that pizza. So don't you worry. I'm going to take care of those 15 points. Um, so you enter everything in and it's just so simple and easy. So I ate the Chick-fil-A spicy Southwest salad today for lunch. It was eight points, which was great. I ate two eggs this morning, which were zero points. Um, but what I love, I have so much fun in the grocery store now because I just take the scanner and all you do is scan things. So let me show you just a couple examples. So the new zero point item that I'm the most excited about is the Greek non-fat plain yogurt. You can also use just regular yogurt as long as it's like the non-fat kind. And if you're not sure, all you have to do, scan it. Zero points. We love having prosciutto on hand. A fourth of a pack is two points. So I'm putting it on the pizza tonight. I also got this light mozzarella cheese. So you can get this from any grocery store, but it is one ounce equals one point. So that's easy to measure too. Black beans are zero points. Black beans used to be so many points and they're such a great source of protein and they really fill me up. So as long as I don't sit and eat 15 cans of beans, I'm gonna be good to go. Ghee, I like to just like be a little bit healthier and cook with ghee sometimes and it is, it's not super low in points, but one teaspoon is two points. So, you know, you just don't use a ton of it. I also wanted to try this green gutted sour dress, salad dressing because I'm gonna learn how to make it um, myself for you guys. And it is one point for two tablespoons. So that is awesome. And then these are a lot, but whatever, because apparently these are really awesome. So 12 cookies equals seven points. So, you know, if you want to eat like six, it'd be three and a half points. That wouldn't be too bad. These are my staples and this is my start. So get excited, sign up, do this with me. We can make some huge moves before Christmas. And we are gonna go into the holidays just sparkling like a Christmas tree. So thanks so much for watching. Um, look below, I'll link all the foods that I got and the smart points. And keep following my Instagram stories and everything else. I'm gonna cover this huge.